mga classmates. It's me, Mikey, and this time, pag-usapan natin kung paano isolve yung area ng triangles. Before that, make sure na marunong ka nang mag-multiply at divide ng whole numbers pati ng fractions. Kung hindi pa, meron tayong link dito o kaya sa description box. Check mo muna. By the way, ang mag-subscribe ay bibila ni Mommy ng Milk Tea. At ang mag-skip naman ng ads ay mawawala ng internet for 3 days! Oh no! Ready ka na? Tara, perfectin natin yung quiz mo. To solve for the area of the triangle, let us use the formula A equals 1 half BH o area equals 1 half times base times height. Pero bago tayo mag-solve, intindihin muna natin kung ano ibig sabihin ng base at height. Ang base at height ng isang triangle ay perpendicular. Ibig sabihin, these are lines that form a perfect L. At ang measurement niya ay 90 degrees. So, tingnan natin it triangle na ito. Nakikita mo ba yung perfect L? Tama. At ang measurement niyan ay 90 degrees. Ibig sabihin, itong red na lines na ito ang ating height at base. At take note, pwede rin niya magkabaliktad. So, pwedeng ito yung base at yung kabila naman yung height. Try natin. Find the area of the triangle whose sides are 5 inches and 7 inches. So, ang formula na gagamitin natin ay A equals 1 half BH o area equals 1 half times base times height. So, bring down natin yung A at 1 half. At para sa base and height, tingnan. Nakikita mo ba kung nasan yung perfect L? Tama. Ang measurement niyan ay 90 degrees. Ibig sabihin, 5 inches at 7 inches ang ating base and height. Take note din na pwede itong magkapalit ng order. So in short, A equals 1 half times 7 times 5 ay 35. At pag sinabing 1 half times 35, Ang ibig sabihin niyan ay kalahati ng 35 o A equals 17.5. At huwag kakalimutan, dahil inches ang ating unit of measurement, inches times inches ay square inches. Therefore, our final answer is 17 and 5 tenths square inches. Again, let us find the area of the triangle whose measurements are 3 meters, 4 meters, and 5 meters. Tulad nung kanina, ang formula pa rin natin ay A equals 1 half BH or A equals 1 half times B times H. So, bring down natin yung A at 1 half. At para sa base and height, hanapin natin ulit yung perfect L. Tama! Ibig sabihin, ang ating base at height ay 3 meters at 4 meters. Pero, paano tong 5 meters? Isa lang yung panggulo. Ginagamit yan para makita kung talagang naintindihan mo ang concept ng base at height. So therefore, our base and height are 3 and 4. Again, walang problema kung magkapalit ng order. Ngayon naman, tingnan mabuti. Ang 1 half at 4 ay pwedeng isimplify. So therefore, cross out natin sila. Ang 2 ay magiging 1 at ang 4 ay 2. Then, bring down natin. So, it's like saying A equals 1 times 2 times 3. Therefore, A is equal to 6. At dahil meters ang ating unit of measurement, don't forget to write square meters. Our area for this triangle is 6 square meters. Paano naman kung ganito ang itsura ng triangle? Same formula pa rin. A equals 1 half BH or A equals 1 half times base times height. Again, bring down A and 1 half. At para sa base and height, may nakikita ka bang perfect L? Okay, pero wala namang measurements dyan. Paano kaya ang gagawin natin? Kung titingnang mabuti, pag inikot ang perfect L, magiging 20 at 21 ang ating base at height. E paano yung 29? Tulad ng kanina, isa itong panggulo. Nakakainis, no? 
Pero wag ka magalit sa teacher mo pag yan ang given niya. Chinecheck niya lang kung talagang nagigets mo yung lesson. So going back, our base and height are 20 and 21. At again, walang problema kung una mong sinulat yung 21 tapos last yung 20. Ngayon, tinan nating mabuti. Alin dito ang pwedeng isimplify kay 1 half? Yes, yung 20. So, 1 half and 20 pag sinimplify ay magiging 1, then 10. So, it's like saying 1 times 21 times 10. Or, A equals 210. At ang unit of measurement natin ay square yards. Therefore, our area is 210 square yards. Ito naman. Mas maraming given measurements. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mas maingat tayo dahil mas maraming panggulo. So, same. Formula pa rin natin ay A equals 1 half BH. At ibibring down pa rin natin yung A equals 1 half. Para sa base and height, nakikita mo ba yung perfect L? Tama. Pero kung titing na mabuti, yung perfect L natin ay ganito lang kahaba. Samantalang yung triangle ay ganito. So, ano sa tingin mo ang dapat nating gawin? Hmm, tama. Kailangan nating i-extend yung ating perfect L. So, therefore, our base and area are 6 and 4 centimeters. At ang mga 5 centimeters na ito ay panggulo lamang. Sulat natin. Times 4 times 6. Walang problema pag nagkaiba ng order. Then, tingnan mabuti. Both 6 and 4 can be simplified by 2. By the way, ang technique dyan ay pumili ng even numbers. So, since pareho silang pwedeng isimplify, for this example, you will just use 6. So, cross out natin. Then, 2 will become 1 and 6 will become 3. Then, bring down natin. That's A equals 1 times 3 times 4. Or, A equals 12. Then, our unit of measurement is centimeters. So, ang area ay square centimeters. The area of this triangle is 12 square centimeters. At ikaw ay nabasbasan ng magic isaw. Subscribe in 10 seconds at manunotice ka ng iyong crush. Good luck! Last example. Again, we have to find the area but only of the shaded part. So, since triangle yan, same formula pa rin. And bring down pa rin natin yung A equals 1 half. At para sa base and height, nakikita mo ba yung perfect L? Yes, tama. Pero kung titing ng mabuti, ito ang measurement ng ating perfect L. Samantalang yung shaded part ay ganito lang. So ano sa tingin mo ang dapat nating sundin? Tama, ito lang. So ang gagawin natin sa perfect L natin ay babawasan natin. Ang ating base at height ay 8 and 9. Again, walang problema kung nauna yung 9 tapos nahuli yung 8. So, tinan natin, alin dito ang pwedeng is isimplify kay 1 half? Mm -hmm. 8 dahil ito ay even number. So, pag sinimplify natin yan, ang 2 ay magiging 1 at ang 8 ay magiging 4. So, that is A equals 1 times 9 times 4. O, A equals 36. Pero tingnan, wala tayong unit of measurement. Pag ganyan, ang isusulat natin ay square units o SQ units. Therefore, our area is 36 square units. Try it! Pause this video and try to find the area of the triangle. Pag may sagot ka na, play mo ulit para makita kung tama yung answer mo. Ready ka na? Again, same lang ang formula. Tapos, bring down pa rin natin yung A equals 1 half. Ang base at height naman natin ay 12 and 5. So, inikot lang natin yung ating perfect L. 
Again, walang problema kung anong mauna dahil pwede yang magpalit. Now look, sino dito ang even number na pwedeng isimplify kay 1 half? Tama, si 12. So simplifying it with 1 half, we will get 1 and 6. So A is equal to 1 times 5 times 6. Or A equals 30. At ang unit of measurement ay feet. So sulat natin dito, square feet. The area of this triangle is 30 square feet. Nakuha mo rin ba? Kung oo, ikaw ay isang lodi. Again, pause this video and solve for the area of the triangle. So, same formula. Then, A equals 1 half. Para sa base at height, tama, yan ang ating perfect L. Pero kung titing ng mabuti, ang triangle natin ay ganito kahaba. So, kailangan nating i-extend yung ating perfect L. Ang ating base at height ay 24 and 14. Walang problema kung magkapalit yan. Now, let us simplify. Since 14 and 24 are both even numbers, kahit ano dyan, pwedeng gamitin. Pero for this example, let us simplify with 14. So, 2 and 14 will become 1 and 7. So, that is A equals 1 times 7 times 24. Or, A equals 168. And our unit of measurement is square meters. Therefore, the area of this triangle is 168 square meters. Nagets mo ba? Kung oo, ikaw ay certified na matindi. I hope marami kang natutunan sa video natin. Till next time, bye!